strongest um, supporter over the years was the man responsible for bringing Bobby Bala to West Belfast over 30 years ago. Uh, and we're delighted that, that Jerry was able to come along this evening and speak at, at this launch. So we'd like to invite Jerry um, just to say a few words about this evening. Well done, John. Well, single hand, yes. What an amazing gentleman. Yeah. So, um, I'm here to thank Robert Bala. Now, it's really, really important in the sort of busyness of all of our lives that we take time to thank people. I was listening to a guy on the radio the other day. He, 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 was, he had just come back to Ireland, having spent some time in London. And he said the, 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 one of the reasons why he was glad to be back because this is the only place that everybody thanks the bus driver. <laughs> so, so it's obviously part of our genes, part of our, our culture, but sometimes we don't. We just keep asking folks to do things for us, and they keep doing it, and we never take the time to say, for a mugget. And I'm especially talking about people who take a stand when they don't necessarily need to, people who continue to make a stand, people who have remained faithful. And Robert Bala is one of the great stalwarts of progressive politics and struggle for peace and justice in Ireland and internationally. And as you've heard a few times there, when we founded FELA, it was to celebrate and to showcase the creativity of this community, of the people of West Belfast. But it was also to provide a platform for others from outside West Belfast to join us, to bring their creative genius and solidarity with us, to uplift us, to encourage us. And so they came. Musicians, writers, singers, poets, actors, actresses, playwrights, filmmakers, camogues, hurlers, dancers, chancers, drunks. <laughs> they all came. And Robert Bala was there also. Now he's one of our island's greatest visual artists. He's passionate about his work, but he's also passionate and very, very generous in the help and the support he gives to others. He was there with the Birmingham Six, with the Guildford Four, with the families of Bloody Sunday, with the victims of the Dublin and Monaghan bombings, with Pat Finucane's family, with the people of Palestine, with the anti-apartheid movement, and all the other little causes. Somebody goes and says, will you get Bobby to do a print? Will you get Bobby to do a painting? Will you get Bobby to do something? Bobby Bala always has delivered. And he established with others the Ireland Institute. It's in the birthplace of Padraig MacPierce. It's, it's very interesting that only the citizens did this, that there would be no uh, thing to mark where this man had been born. The same thing happened, as you may remember, with uh, Kil Kilmainham. He was the chair of the Irish National Congress, which campaigned for unity and justice. He's designed over 70 stamps for on post, so most of us will have had some of his work in, in our hands. Uh, he, he actually produced the last batch of punt uh, banknotes, and he did the set for River Dance, and he's also done the sets for tons of Sinn Féin Ardeshina. And apart from exhibiting his own work, he helped, as we've just heard, our fledgling school of mural painters back in the day. And where the Nelson Mandela mural came from, there were a number of young people being helped by Danny Devani and, Devani and Marty and Makara and so on to do mural uh, painting. And we asked them what did they want to paint for Bobby to judge. And they said, because it was the 70th birthday of Nelson Mandela, we want a mural, these were kids in their early teens, we want a mural of Madiba, of Nelson of Mandela, and it was there at the corner of Leeson Street and the Falls Road. And Bobby's been back year after year after year. We had a very big celebration across the island of the 1916 Rising on the centenary year. But it isn't that long since Irish governments didn't at all commemorate uh, 1916, and indeed not only did they ignore 1916, but they also banned anybody else 
from marking it. There's a famous incident where Nora, the daughter of James Connolly, was arrested outside the GPO. So come the 75th anniversary of 1916, and there was to be no state marking an appropriate occasion for the rising. And again, Bobby was centrally involved in the reclaim the spirit of 1916 for the 75th an anniversary. And that was a great initiative, and it wouldn't have happened without Robert Bala and without the, the creative and colourful uh, way that those men and women were celebrated. And again, two years ago, uh, we had another celebration and another similar initiative, and again, Bobby was centrally involved with that. So thank you, my friend, Mr. Bala, for all that activism, but thank you especially for your art. Yep. Art. <laughs> art, culture, work of the imagination should be applauded for its own sake. We should just have art for the sake of art. Because it moves us, it makes us think, it makes us marvel, it gives us pleasure, it can empower us, it takes us out of ourselves. That's whether we're the artist or whether we're the person enjoying the piece of art. And all of that's very, 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 very important. I, I, I couldn't stress enough my own notion of how important it is. I, I was thinking about this earlier on, and this is probably totally and absolutely wrong. But the imagination is probably whatever the soul is. You know, that, that's just, it's, it's, it's beyond, it's the essence of our, of our spirits, that, that we can live in our imagination and we can move people mm -hmm. by the use of our imagination. But art which stands up for itself, <coughs> art which stands up for humanity, which highlights injustice, as well as being art of the highest quality, is what Robert Bala does. And by so doing, he leads the way for others who don't do this. And Bobby Sands had a word for them. The men of art have sold their heart. They dream within their dreams. Their magic sold for price of gold amidst a people's screams. Robert Bala never sold his magic for the price of gold. He used it to enrich it all. So go to Mila, Mila, Mila. And in keeping with the, uh, with, with the occasion, you're getting a free fill on football t-shirt. <laughs> Which is probably the wrong size. They always give me the wrong size. <laughs> and this very uh, wonderful book by Fergal and Michael, which is Feel of Voices uh, at 30. So, Mila Buejas and Gwen Roger. Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.